So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, if you're an author, a speaker, a coach, a consultant, this is the place to be in October. Anything to add to that, Jim and before I move on to pillar number two? Yes, um, just with regards to who this works for, I, I, I want to speak with the entrepreneurs. It, it does not matter if you are starting out or thinking about starting an entrepreneur uh, as an entrepreneur, this event is for them. Um, there are still opportunities that we don't want you to miss. And the opportunity for people who have left the corporate world, such as I did, and became an entrepreneur. Jonathan, there's a gap. Mm. And we are filling that gap mm. with need to know. You don't know what you don't know. That's very true. And very true. that's where the secrets are coming in. We have so many, 30 plus speakers that will be talking to you. They have the expertise, they have the wisdom, they have the experience, and they have the knowledge. And you will get, as Jonathan said, a nugget or best kept secret from each one of them. And you cannot help but go home with this treasure map and to have a success. We're actually going to run very so quickly. Absolutely, but listen, you could you could you could be be downsized yesterday, and have your new business up and running now, the next day, validated by Amazon, online, ready to take ready to take payments. Um, yeah, absolutely. We're also going to facilitate networking sessions, so you actually get to meet people. So it's not mm -hmm. a case of you know you might be able to grab somebody for five minutes. We'll actually make sure that you have access to everybody, all the speakers, everybody staying in the one hotel. We're all going to be there for seven days, so mm -hmm. there's plenty of time. Plenty of time to network. Second Wonderful. pillar, mental health and wellness. One, one of our missions is to help each one of us become a all, better all-rounded, balanced individual. We've had three years of upheaval, uncertainty, the goalposts moving continually. A lot of solopreneurs are feeling jaded, lonely, and anxious. It feels, sometimes it feels like you're the only crazy person fighting in the trenches. Right? So we want to get everybody together. The camaraderie is going to be amazing. We want to share the best of what we all know, the latest in mental wellness and strategies. Um, we're going to be having practitioners actually are working with you individually. So if you want to have confidential sessions with somebody and release something that you feel stuck over or help get someone, get professional to actually dig into you and find out what the issue is, there'll be plenty of opportunities to actually do that. This is one of my favorite uh, graphs. This actually was coined, this phrase was coined by one of my clients. I call this the untrained normal person. This is the, this is a map of the average person who's not really into personal development much. Maybe they're just like hardcore business and they haven't really thought about all the other avenues. And my client called it a neurotypical person. So I borrowed that name. Here's the scenario. If you walked up to the average entrepreneur right now and said, do you have a conscious mind? What are they going to say? Do you have a consciousness? Do you have a mind? Do you, are you, are you have an awareness? They're going to say, Yes. In fact, the part of them that says, do I, is their conscious mind. <laughs> right? And if you say, do you have a physical body? Are you like a physical vehicle that you live in? And they're going to go, of course I do. And if you said, is it fair to say you've got some stuff, some like old wounds, some hurts, some, some scars, you know, some emotional traumas that you've been through? Is it fair to say you've got some stuff? And they're going to go, oh, yes. Oh, wait till I tell you. Right. Well, here's the deal. You might think that all that white space is empty, but all that white space is actually jam-packed full. You actually have three minds. There are three minds, and all forms of psychology have, have debated this for hundreds and thousands of years. And you also have an emotional part of you. You have a mental part of you, and you a spiritual part of you. You can be lying in your bed with your head buzzing and like full of ideas and like can't sleep, but your body's exhausted. You ever had that? Your body's like flat out, but your head is buzzing at a million miles an hour because it's two entirely different aspects. Equally, you could be full of beans. You could, you could come out of your workplace and hit the gym and pump iron or go for a run or play squash, but your head is mush. <laughs> you know, I used to come home from school and walk my dogs for a couple of miles because my head was just mush. Don't talk to me. I can't, I've got no more head space. Just let me pick up a weight or let me, let me punch something, <laughs> you know? So, you have different aspects and all personal development and all philosophies that work 
tackle all seven. The seven, seven's a magical number, the dance of the seven veils, seven heavenly pleasures, the seven deadly sins, right? The seven chakras. Yes, yes, and, and the chakras, chakras, yes. Seven keeps on coming up, and there's a reason why, because all aspects of you are here, and we want to cover all aspects. So the Hawaiians knew this. Here's the freaky thing. The Hawaiians knew this. They talked about Lono, one of their gods, Lono. The conscious mind, conscious mind handles about 134 bits of information per second. That's been measured. Your brain can handle 134 bits of information per second. And it only kicked in around about age five. Prior to age five, you're a little bundle of energy exploring the planet. You're not consciously aware. You're not thinking about stuff until you get a watch or you get told that you play, then you eat or you eat, then you play. And there's a certain time of night that you need to come home by. And you start to learn the rules. Then you go into primary education where they start to put stuff into your head. Isn't it interesting? It takes several teachers to teach all the topics you're supposed to know, but there's only one pupil. Why is it there's several teachers teaching all these different topics in one pupil? How are, you, how are one pupil supposed to know something that the teachers don't all know in one person? Anyway, and your conscious mind has limited recall. You don't have a total recall memory. We don't. It's a Newtonian physics device. It runs according to the rules of Newtonian physics. X equals Y. It's a thinking, reasoning machine, but it's also an expert in denial and avoidance. Your conscious mind can lie to you and justify anything. Oh, I'm just going to have another piece of chocolate gato. I can justify that, right? It will torment you. There's an incessant chatter in your head. Just You know, you're lying in bed and there's like chatter in your head. How's, how am I going to raise profits? How am I going to sack that employee? How am I going to do this? That's your conscious mind. Now, in Hawaii, that was represented by this tiki, this statue. His eyes are closed because he doesn't experience the outer world. He's too in his head. And he's a tall headdress. He's got a great imagination and a lot of thinking. But the streamers on his headdress didn't touch the ground because he wasn't connected to the material world. It was all head stuff, but not physical stuff. That was the conscious mind in Hawaii. And if anywhere you go in Hawaii, you will see statues of Lono. It's not necessarily just a god in the Hawaiian pantheon of gods. It's also your mind or one of your minds. Then you'll also see this guy. This is Ku. Ku represents your unconscious mind. The Hawaiians knew about this 40,000 years ago. Freud cottoned on around about 1901. The unconscious mind handles 2 million bits of information. Your conscious mind handles 134. Your unconscious mind, 2 million. Oh, by the way, it has total recall and it's unlimited. And while your conscious mind kicked in at age five, your unconscious mind kicked in at conception. American Medical Association, 1965, declared that an embryo is learning and has memory. So take whatever age you are, add nine months to it, times two million. That's the amount of information you've taken in at the unconscious level. And it's all still in there on the hard drive. Take your current age minus five years and multiply that by 134. That's what you've got consciously. So the real you isn't your conscious mind. The real you is your unconscious mind. And it may be scared of success. It might have some limiting beliefs in there. It might have some fear, right? It might think mm, money's the root of all evil. Selling is evil. <laughs> That's a problem. Your unconscious mind is also responsible for all your energy and your motivation and all your feelings and all your emotions and your memories, right? Now, the unconscious mind was represented in Hawaii by a statue called Ku, and Ku's eyes are partly open. So he's more aware than the conscious mind is. But he's got a short headdress. He's not very, doesn't have a lot of thoughts going on in his head, but he is very creative. And the streamers touched the ground. The streamers were very much in touch with the physical because the unconscious mind is very much in touch with your physical body. Very, very much. Then we have the third mind in the Holy Trinity, the higher conscious mind or the higher self. That's your spiritual connection. The higher selves don't bother with car parking spaces or money. They deal with things like healing, miracles, wisdom. They're holographic. They focus on the future. In some traditions, it's called your guardian angel or your holy guardian spirit. Now in Hawaii, they wouldn't carve that out of a statue. They would use an upright stone because it's formless. How do, you, how do you put a form on the higher self? But they would have standing stones. And all over Hawaii, you can find standing stones. So those three minds, the conscious, the unconscious, and the higher self, were being carved or 
created in visual form all over the Hawaiian culture for 40,000 years. They knew a thing or two. There was no incidence of mental illness in Hawaii until the missionaries from Boston arrived. And they brought a whole bunch of diseases, not just mental. If you've got your conscious mind to talk to your unconscious mind, do you think that would make you more successful? And what if you've got your higher self involved as well? What if your higher self came in and told you what you should be doing for a business? Or what's wrong in your business? Or what to do next? That holy trinity is present in every system. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, for example. Or the caduceus symbol in the medical world, the two snakes climbing up to an angel. Or the trigrams in the I Ching system, three bits of bamboo, right? This trinity is present everywhere. Everywhere. The Pope's cross has three horizontal bars. The cardinals has two. The priests has one. That's interesting. What's that telling you? So we want to teach you methods to tap into all of these, all of these. And then your business starts to fly. Think about all the people you know who are business successes, pioneers, gurus in their field. They probably meditate. They probably have some sort of visualization process that they do. They probably pray or have spiritual beliefs or some kind of spiritual practices. I didn't. I never did. And then I learned. <laughs> and it opened up a whole new horizon. Jim, Marie, anything to say about this? Oh, I just really, really um, appreciate the learning uh, because I did see the, I'll call them uh, the the figures, the yeah. tikis. Tikis, thank you, of, of in Hawaii. And they are very, very much honored and still present. And truly, um, that is a part of their culture and the people embrace it. And, and you feel that sense of calmness in the Hawaiians. Okay. And, and, and I wish I would have mentioned this up front, but the world is on one time and then there's Hawaii time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so the Hawaii time teaches us to slow down. To, but there's purpose behind it. It we slow down so that we are more. We have the ability to be more clear yeah. on what it is, what we are doing, and more purposeful. Okay. And having the faith, having the belief, without seeing, having the perseverance. This is all about what we are going to talk about, the courage, the perseverance, and, and the belief, and the three in one here, having um, that sense of understanding, Jonathan, is critical, not only to ourselves, but to our business. Mm, absolutely. Absolutely. 100% agree. Third major pillar is the body, mind, spirit. Right. I know lots of people, I know lots of life coaches, for example, who meditate and practice spiritual disciplines and they trust that the universe will send them clients and fill their wallet. Good luck with that plan. Um, I've seen other people work really hard. They go networking, they build websites, they've got shiny business cards and they market like crazy. And they're still not fully booked. But the guys and gals who combine both, they've got their feet in the ground and do all the work but they also have their head connected to something bigger. Their energy, they're usually healthier, they're usually more balanced, they're usually in control, they're usually unflappable, and some people consider them lucky. And I think of it like a battery. You know, you've got two poles at the end of a battery, and working just one pole isn't going to make it work. If you disconnect one of the terminals in a car battery, the car's going nowhere. You need both plugged in, head in the sky, feet on the ground. That's one of the things... That is a secret. This came to me in a dream. It literally did come to me in a dream and I had to put it on a PowerPoint slide because <laughs> I like PowerPoint. You have here the big picture. You have the four bodies. You have the three minds. You have the archangels. Then you get into the level of the void or God or spirit or Allah or Buddha or whatever you want to call it, the quantum field, right? Every system agrees. Every esoteric system on the planet has the same core pillars. So there has to be something to it. There has to be something to it. And we want to show you how to, how to 
employ all aspects of yourself for balance from the spiritual level, the mental level, the emotional level, and the physical level. And we're going to show you how all this stuff works over the course of seven days. 2002 was a bad year for me. Uh, I was engaged. We broke up. I moved out into a small flat. I did depression. I grew a beard and I cried myself to sleep over Christmas and New Year. And to snap me out of it, my friend Billy phoned me up and said, I booked you on a training course. And I said, I don't want to do a training course. I've done so much. I've done NLP trainer. I've done coaching. I've done CBT. I've done feng shui. You name it. I've studied it. I don't want to go on a training course. He said, it's in Hawaii. And I found myself on the Big Island in Kona a few months later, and it blew me away. Blew me away. Uh, and we want to have you to have the same experience. Now, all of these mind body techniques, all of the ologies, as I call them, <laughs> all of the all the complementary alternative approaches, they follow a similar kind of route. The first thing you always look at is all the material that is in you that may be stuck, all the limiting stuff, all the blockages, right? We all have gunge in there. We've all got, remember that stuff that I showed you in that diagram? Past hurts, traumas, things we can't let go of, grudges, the business partner who stabbed you in the back, Right, the person who stole all your clients, all that kind of stuff, competitors are ripping you off or whatever it may be. We need to let that stuff go. We need to let that stuff go. And nowadays, there are actual ways. Like if I said to you that there's a file on your computer, I want you to delete it. There's a Word document on your computer. Go and delete it. Let me ask you a question. What do you need to do? Jiminy, what do you need to do to get rid of a Word document? I, you, you need to just pull up the file and delete. You select it and delete it. You have to go through the files and select it. Beautiful. So you have to find it first and then yes. you, you click on it, you highlight it. So you kind of activate it and then right. you press delete. Let me ask you a question. Do you yes. have to read it? Do you have to read every word? You don't have to read every word. You just have to know that that is the file that you want to delete. And you Imagine. have to consciously make, you, you consciously make that choice. I love it. And, and people understand windows and computers better than they do their own bodies and minds. But it works the same way. If you can find the limiting belief, you can delete it. If you can find the blockage, you can delete it. If you can find the old trauma, you can delete it. Now, guess who knows where they all are? Which one of your minds has total recall? Your unconscious mind does. So if you can talk to your unconscious mm -hmm. mind. You can ask it the source of everything and it will tell you and then you can then delete it. And we can show you how to talk to your unconscious mind in minutes from a standing start, even if you've never done it before. Freaks people out when the body start. you start asking your body questions and it answers you. In the old days of hypnotherapy, it was one way. The hypnotist would hypnotize the subject, as they were called, and suggest and suggest and suggest. And eventually the suggestions would take, would take hold. Nowadays, it's two way. The hypnotist talks to the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind talks back and you listen and you hear and you sometimes see it. And we can show you how to do that in minutes from a standing start. And it is a whole new ballgame. Personal development at a whole new level. Once you find these blockages, you then have to balance the energy. We have to get the battery flowing. We can't have too much positive and too much negative. We need to get that flowing or the yin and the yang or the touch with your feminine side or whatever you want to call it, the five element theory from Chinese medicine. All of these things are doing the same thing, balancing you out. The Hawaiians talked about five elements as well. So we're going to take you through processes which do that for you. It's like it's a detox, right? And then finally, training your body and your nervous system to handle more energy what in China is called chi, what in Japan is called ki, what in Hawaii was called mana. Imagine if you had more energy, right? You could get more done. You get you hit a wall about 9 p.m. Imagine if you could get more done. Imagine if you, you were able to get stuff, more motivation, more drive, more passion, right? More results, more productivity. We can show you how to do that. By the way, that's also healthy for the body. <laughs> how long can you live without food? Days. How long, oh, can without, how long can you live without water? Mm. Maybe a couple of days. How long can you live without oxygen? Mm, minutes. How long can you live without energy? You can't. You can't. <laughs> it's energy first, then oxygen, right? That's what you need. So we're going to show you how to do that through meditation techniques, through breathing techniques, oxygen, through chanting techniques, all the ancient chants. If you think of it, Sanskrit or Latin, the Polynesian chants predate 
anything in Latin or Sanskrit. These are ancient, ancient languages. And I'm going to be running a chant class and teaching you how to chant. People love it because their energy goes through the roof. You were going to say something, Jim Lee. Sorry, I interrupted you. You know, uh, uh, Jonathan, some of what you are sharing and saying, it, it just solidifies who we have as speakers that will complement this and enforce it. And each one has a different um, expertise, level yep. of expertise. Yep. I mean, we have Robert Rednati. And he is going to, uh, he is one of 100 of Dr. Joe Dispenza's certified trainers. And Tony Robbins is one of, of Dr. Dispenza's certified trainers as well. So, I mean, he's free, he's friends and has worked with Tony Robbins, such as you and, and a lot of my other speakers. But Robert Rednati is going to be there sharing his wisdom, his training, his learning. And I know you have such a tremendous amount of knowledge it is just, you can't go to one place to get all these different areas of expertise. Don Gaiden and Joanna Rajendran. And Joanna was the, uh, the uh, protege of one of the world's oldest yoga instructors, who, by the way, instructed Tony Robbins and Deepak chakra so I, these individuals and joanna was friends with teo and the oldest uh, yoga instructor for tw for 17 to 20 years and wow. she is just phenomenal as well so they're enforcing what you have said and what we are talking about yeah. and they'll get it everybody learns differently yeah. and hears differently from other people so we we want our audience to know those who attend, we have the top, the best of the best. And all the all you know, all the different approaches are just simply that. They're different approaches, but they all they all work on the same things. They all work on the four bodies, they all work on the three minds, they all work on breathing and visualization. They all have the same methods. They just have different labels, just called different things. So you can pick the ones that, that resonate most with you and then take them home and practice them in your day-to-day -day life. That's what it's all about. We're going to give you so many tools, you're never going to be the same. Um, so that's the summary. Bring to light all the material that's limiting and then release it. Balance the energies in the bodies and then train your body to be able to handle more energy, which makes you a more powerful individual. Those are the three core pillars of what we're going to be talking about. So our invitation to you watching this right now is, do you want to come and join us?